Hey there everyone, this is Danielle conducting another Super Mario Odyssey experiment. Uh, I have conducted this experiment a couple of times already. Um, I had problems with recording. I think it might have been because of the rain effect, like because the screen is changing so rapidly everywhere, it takes a lot more CPU than normal. Um, that's my hunch anyway. Uh, so hopefully this time it will work. The first time it broke the recording part way through and I didn't have a backup save, so I had to replay the whole game up to this point, but I've kept a backup since then, so we should be okay. Uh, anyway, the experiment is to get through New York City without jumping. Um, you may already know this, but when you beat the game, it gives you access to, uh, like a counter of how many jumps you've done, which means we unambiguously know what is and isn't a jump according to the game. Some things you think are jumps are not jumps. For example, wall jumps are okay, jumping off of a pole, um, like a climbable pole or a swinging pole is okay, jumping when you're in a capture form is okay, uh, jumping when you're on the scooter is okay, uh, lots of things that you'd think are jumps, those are all not jumps, and there's a few things that you'd think are jumps that are, sorry, there's things that you think you would think aren't jumps that are jumps. For example, if you talk to an NPC by pressing the A or B button, that's a jump. So, we're gonna have to avoid doing that, uh, and also we have to avoid doing standard jumps as well, but we should be okay. So yeah, um, we can't jump up Superstar, you cannot manage that, especially because you have to talk to Pauline to get anywhere near that, that story moon, so we won't be doing that, but we will be doing uh, the first story moon because it's mandatory, and we'll have no trouble doing that. Uh, we're using Cappy's vault move here, where you just throw her in front of you and then walk onto her, um, because yeah, we can't jump, but this doesn't count as a jump, so we're good. Uh, also, like, when you pop out of here, it looks like a jump, but that's not a jump either, so we're good. <laughs> um, it's a little trickier to dodge these bugs and stuff, because you can't jump around them. You just gotta stay on foot, but we can manage. We should be alright. Uh, we also can't go into the rooftops, obviously, because that would involve jumping, so... We're gonna take a more traditional route. Uh, usually I go on the rooftops, but, yeah, we can't do it this time. Uh, so we're gonna run this way, there we go. Uh, we can't jump on these Goombas, at least not very easily. Uh, we can bop them using, like, a cappy attack of some kind, if we do it right. I'm messing it up though, I might die. Um, <laughs> hmm. Thankfully they can't walk off the ledges, as you can see, so we can just, oop, accidentally capture one. We can jump when we're inside a Goomba, because they're the ones doing the jumping, so... We could do that if we wanted, but I don't want... Okay, here's the first moon we want to get. Um, basically, there's a moon inside this, uh, this like piece of scaffolding here. You can see it over there. The way you get it is you get into this little hole and then you run around. It's a little tricky to get into the hole, however, because we can't jump. Uh, what we can do is do a little cap bouncy here, and then there we go. First try, wow. On my previous attempts, it took me a bunch of tries to get in. I was trying to do the mid-air dive move to get in, but yeah, that gives you too much height and you bonk on the top of the container. Girder, it's an iron girder, according to the moon name. <laughs> okay, uh, take that out. So yeah, um, this part's pretty easy. Uh, just make your way this direction. Watch out for the sting, sting bees, you can't jump over them. Uh, so it's a little harder to dodge than normal, but not too tricky. Uh, then we just make our way over to the stairs over here. There are some other moons you can actually get this early, like before you've gotten the story moon, but well, we won't worry about them just yet. I'll come back and do them later. Uh, just dodge the Goomba like that. There we go. Okay, we could use the power line to get up. I'm going to use the wall jump just to show off because I'm a dork like that. Again, wall jumping is okay. Uh, it doesn't count as jumping, for some reason. So, yeah, so long as you don't jump off the ground to start wall jumping, you can wall jump all you want and it's fine. Uh, oh, we'll get this. That moon there. Um, I'll get that while we're coming through here, just because. Yeah, I just checked the recording. It's going completely fine now, so I don't know what was wrong before. <laughs> like, oh yeah, this moon is not on the ground. It's actually a little bit in the air, which makes it a bit tricky when you can't jump. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not—it's obviously in mid-air, but 
I mean, like, compared to where the girder is that's swinging around. And yeah, you can't get moons by throwing Cappy at them because that makes things way too easy. Yeah! There we go. Okay, uh, so we need to go into the building just here. Uh, you can't get up on the outside until you've already cleared the story. So you have to go this way. Uh, again, we can't jump in here, which makes it a little tricky to deal with some of these enemies, but we'll be okay. Get a bit away from the wall to actually throw Cappy toward it. There we go. You want to throw Cappy at the wall because then she'll be a bit closer and we're in pretty confined quarters here. So, yeah. Uh, there is a moon inside this area, which we will, we will be getting. Uh, if we can, I believe we can get it. We shouldn't have too much trouble. Uh, we don't want to press B to grab on because that counts as a jump. Uh, but we do want to do this. Up, 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 up. Okay, so jumping off of this does not count as a jump, which is good, because we need to do it. <laughs> okay, there's the moon. Uh, we have to be careful not to get caught inside that treasure chest, because we can't get out without jumping. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So you want to do something like that as soon as you've got the moon, while you're still in midair. Um, it can be a little dangerous if you're not careful. <laughs> All the treasure chests in the game are like that. They're too small to throw Cappy inside, so if you get stuck in one, you do have to jump to get out. I forget whether these ones are the ones I want. Let's have a look. No, it's not these ones. Uh, the next set of blocks has a um, life up heart, which is what I was looking for. Those ones over there. And yeah, the recording's still going fine, and it's using almost no CPUs, so yeah, I've got no idea what was happening before. But now it's fine, so all good, I guess. Anyway, life apart. Uh, that's about all we can do in here, so let's get going. Uh, we have to... Alright, to do this part, we have to either... We, ha we don't have to use that power line, we can also just wall kick up here. I think I will, just for the lulls. Because again, you can wall jump all you want, it doesn't count as a jump. For some reason. Uh... There we go. Okay, we're now up here. Uh, we have to climb up a little bit of staircase here, which we could have avoided by using the power line, but I don't really care. This is fine, we'll do it this way. And boss battle time. Yeah, I'll skip the cutscene. I've seen it before. Probably. Okay, so this whole boss battle you do in a capture form, and it's a capture form that can't even jump, so it wouldn't even matter if you were allowed to jump in capture forms or not. Uh, you are, because that doesn't count for some reason. But even if you weren't, it wouldn't be a problem, because yeah, all we gotta do is just shoot this uh, wiggler here with that tank a bunch of times. You can uncapture the tank in order to dodge more efficiently, but you don't really need to. It's slow enough that you can just dodge it without any trouble. And then it goes the other way. Yeah, this boss battle is not hard, which is probably deliberate because this one is mandatory. Some of the, like, optional bosses are harder. Although I think the most difficult, like, regular boss in the game is the dragon, and the dragon is not optional, so I don't know. There's some weird design decisions here and there. Do, 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 
I'm taking a few hits, but that's not a problem, we'll be fine. Even if we lose the life up part, we're fine. There's a very easy one to get in New Dong City. And we don't really need it anyway. There won't be too much stuff hurting us once we've done this. And I lost it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, aiming is a bit of a hassle. You have to use the tilt on the Joy-Cons, as well as the right stick. It's weird. I mean, it works really well in some games, like Splatoon, but here I'm not so sure. Anyway, uh, we've beaten the, the Mecha Wiggler. Kablam! Uh, that, that, um, Multimoon is in the air, so we have to jump to get it, unless we just do that. <laughs> Yay! Alrighty, so that's uh, the first story moon cleared. That's the only one we'll be getting because to get the next four, uh, you have to talk to Pauline. And as I mentioned, talking to an NPC is jumping. Uh, there is a workaround. If you talk to an NPC in first person mode, that does not count as jumping. Probably because you can't jump in first person mode. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to work on the restriction that we can't talk to anyone. Uh, that automatically talking to Cappy doesn't count, to be clear. It does not count as a jump because we didn't press the button to initiate the conversation. It was just automatic. Anyway, uh, first moon I'm going to go get is the one that we could have gotten before. There's one more moon, there's actually, there's actually two more moons you can get in Raining New Dong City. You can buy one from the shop here, which I'm not gonna get. And there's one over here that you can get, which I am gonna get. Uh, so we grab this power line to get up there. It's that one over there. So, um, yeah, you're supposed to go down there and use the wall kicks to get up, but you don't have to, you can just do something like this. Da -da -da -da. Yeah! It's just as easy. And yeah, you can get that one before you, uh, get the... before you get rid of New York, New York City's pest problem, but we didn't in this run through, we got it afterwards. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we need another, what is that, 13 moons? Yeah, so we're just gonna have a bit of a look around, see what we can find. Uh... We can't go down there because this ta this taxi doesn't move until much later. Oh, uh, we can do this room. We can do the germ room, which is what I call this one. You can see why I call it the germ room. Uh, so basically we have to get past this whole crowd of people uh, to the other side to get a moon before the timer runs out. It's hard, um, especially without being able to jump over them, but I think we can manage. Uh, it it isn't, it isn't starting well. I was hoping to get a jump at the beginning so we could start bouncing over them, but that hasn't happened. Yeah. Um, hmm. Let me just go to the end. Uh, and rather than... Oops. I mean, it goes through the pipe. Uh, it doesn't matter. We will come back and do that in a little bit. First, let's do this. So yeah, we've got a rocket here. Uh, you do press the jump button, but because we're in a capture form, it doesn't count, so we're okay. Uh, we can launch ourselves up to here without any problem. And this is a pole swinging course. Um, thankfully jumping off of a pole does not count as a jump, so we can do this without any problems. And get two moons this way. You can actually get do a jump up to there and just skip the whole thing if you want, but there's a moon in the middle so it's kind of pointless. So yeah, um, jumping like this does not add to the jump counter, so we're allowed to do it. It's, I know it's weird. <laughs> the game has some very strange ideas on what constitutes jumping. And wall jumps are also okay. Yeah, so we can do that fine. There we go, that's one. But of course we want this one as well. I know, right? Oh, by the way, when an NPC talks like this, that's fine. Um, like, because we're not pressing any button to make him do that, it doesn't count as jumping like talking to an NPC normally does. Mm -hmm. 
We do have to do a little bit of a jump. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, but vaulting will do the trick, so all good. A vault is a pretty high kind of jump, which is helpful because it isn't a jump. <laughs> but yeah, it's higher than like most regular jumps. I think it's a bit lower than a ground pound jump or triple jump, but it's close. Anyway, so back to the germ room. There's one more moon we can get from this side, which we'll do, and then we'll try to do the timed one again. I know it's possible, uh, because I did it in the previous version of this experiment, uh, the one that recorded bad, but uh, let's see if we can pull it off. More pole swinging. On my first attempt, I wasn't sure if pole swinging was allowed or not, so I actually went back on one of my other files and made sure it didn't increment the count, which it doesn't, so we're okay. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, we're halfway there, and there's actually one more moon we can get in this area, so let's just head to the end here. So yeah, so long as we start jumping over these guys to begin with, with a well-placed cap, uh, oh my god. I'm just gonna wait for it to reset. Yeah, you have to get a vault from the very beginning or you're gonna have some problems. Uh... Oh my god. This is not working well. This worked much better in my previous attempt. <laughs> yeah, you have, you have to get a vault so you can get on top of them and then bounce off their heads, basically. No! Oh, dang it. Maybe I'll get another moon, but I don't know. I feel like I want to get this one because it kind of puts the lack of jumping to the test. Since normally you would jump over all these people, but we can't do that. Because, yeah, you basically can't get another vault in after you've gone into the crowd because there's not enough room to throw Cappy. <sighs> Got stuck. Germ room, like you can do this germ room. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Okay, so moon appears first. There we go. Let's throw Cappy. Get a good vault right at the beginning. Oh god. I think the people are semi-randomized, which makes this one a little unpredictable whether you're going to get it or not. Oh, come on, I bounced off so many people. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I'll give it like one more try and then I'll go do another moon because there's a whole bunch of moons we can do here. It's just that this one I felt was emblematic of the challenge at hand. <laughs> Cross just ah, oh, it's a little too slow. Okay, one more try, one more. This is actually the last one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. Okay, that was a bad try. Just let it reset and then do it. That's the real last try. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, 
Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go do some other moons because this is just getting ridiculous. I think these are these people's locations are randomized, so it is a bit down to luck whether this works or not. Um, unlike in normal play where you can usually just jump over them if they happen to get in your way. Here we can't. They have to be really perfectly positioned. Uh, okay, we need to get 10 moons from somewhere else. Uh, let me see. Where should we go? Uh, we can go over to the park and get a moon there. So, let's head that way. So yeah, there's a piece of the, uh, Mecha Wiggle we defeated hanging out here in the park. Over there. Um, we just want to get on top of it, so we'll have to stand back a bit so that Cappy won't actually bump into it, and then do that. There we go. Uh, the moon is in, like, mid-air, so we gotta something like this. Oops. Not quite like that, but something like that. <laughs> yeah! Okay, that's 11. Let's head on back this way. Uh, we can't go into the costume room, both because we don't own the costume and because going into that costume room involves um, talking to the guy at the front to unlock it, so we won't do that. Uh, let me see, what else can we do? I don't think we can do anything with the seeds over there. Uh, the reason for that is when you're holding a s- oh hang on, you can do one of the seeds. The reason is when you're holding a seed you can't throw Cappy, which means we don't have any way to, to jump whatsoever. Um, we can do this one though, um, but the other ones are, in, are on top of buildings and stuff, and I don't think we can do them. Uh, let me see. We can do we can actually do the jump rope challenge by using the scooter, because jumping on the scooter doesn't count as jumping, which is kind of hilarious. Um, I don't know if we will though. Oh, this guy. Uh, this is the bench friends guy who says, boy, I tell you this city. Um, I could not do this one while crouching in the crouch challenge. It was one of the impossible moons because you have to, you have to stand next to him on the bench in order to sit down. Uh, we should be able to do it on this run though, by doing that. Yeah. So yeah, that one was impossible while crouching, but not while not jumping, so that's cool. <laughs> uh, you already got that one. Let me see, what else was worth doing? Uh, we can get another life up part over here. That infinitely respawns, so it's a pretty easy life up part to get, if you happen to want it. Uh, Captain Toad is over here. We can't talk to him because that would be talking to someone, so we won't. <laughs> uh, we'll go up here, though. Okay, so here, there's a moon you get by ground pounding in a certain spot. I hope that I can find the spot. The, um, the controllers are, vib the controllers are vibrating is how I know where to go. I think it's here. Yep, there we go. It took me a bunch of tries to find the right spot in my previous attempt because... Each ground pound takes so long, because you have to move back and throw Cappy again, and... Yeah. Um, this way was much easier. <laughs> Oops, barrel. I'm trying to go over here. Uh, yeah, there's no moons over here, I just wanted to have a look. Alright, yeah, because we haven't found any of the story people yet, the, um, New York City music is a lot less exciting. Because it's only got the, the piano playing. I like that effect. It's kind of a shame you don't notice it much, because in normal play you just go do all of those moons in quick succession. Hmm. Uh, let me see. I might do the first jump challenge. I don't I don't want to do the 100, 100 jumps one, but the first one I can do on the scooter, and that might be fun. Let's go over a look. Oh, no, I messed it up immediately. <laughs> oh my goodness. You can actually get that moon just by leaning on the scooter. 
far enough. Um, I haven't managed to do it, but it is possible. You sort of just clip inside the wall a little bit. You can see how far Mario leans. It's very, like, you get you actually can clip inside the wall and get them in that way. Uh, might just do it the normal way. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> it is a speedrun trick because it's faster than capturing this and moving it around. Because you can do it, you know, just on the scooter and then keep moving and do more scootery things. Oh, right, yeah, it's, it's left and right to accelerate and steer. The controls in this, for this thing are a bit weird. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah! So that doesn't involve jumping anyway, so it's not super interesting to do while not jumping. Uh, let's have a look around and see if we can find something that is super interesting to do while not jumping. Um... Um... Oh, I know what to do. Let's, let's go up this way. Okay, so we're heading back up to the construction site here. I forget which moons I did last time, but I think I, I think I did some that like involved using like a scooter or whatever to avoid jumping, so eh. Okay, so there's a moon up there, which is supposed to jump to from above. So let's see if we can get to that. Without jumping. <laughs> okay, we can get it out without any problem, but how are we going to actually jump up there and grab it? Hmm. Might just need to redo the previous bit from further away. Um... Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, let's just get back up there and... Oh, but then we're gonna be... Oh no, no, this will work. We, can, we could get stuck inside the dumpster if we're not careful, but I think I can be careful. <laughs> uh, you can't really do a real cappy roll jump here because you can't jump and ground pound to maximize your roll speed, but you can do a decent, a decent approximation of one, so... Okay, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we would have gotten stuck in that dumpster. You have to jump out of it if you get inside. Uh, so good thing we managed to not do that. Uh, there's another moon right at the top of the tower, so we might head up there and have a look. Right at the very top. Um, again, jumping off of a pole or whatever is not jumping, so uh, we should be alright. Can't really see what I'm doing because of the angle. Hang on. <laughs> Uh, Is there enough room to throw Cappy in here? It looks pretty tight. Hmm. This might be a bit tricky. <laughs> Okay, if we get if we get wall jumping, we might be able to climb up that way. Hang on, let me see. The lack of music here is a bit annoying, in my opinion. I think it should still have music. I understand why it doesn't, because you're like far away from the city, which is where the music is. But uh, oops, that was a jump. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. I didn't jump. I didn't jump. I didn't do anything with the jump, so it's probably okay. But yeah, that that was in fact a jump. So sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was trying to wall jump, but I slid down the wall too quickly. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Let's grab that one instead. There we go. Uh, jumping out of water does count as a jump when you're on the surface. So yeah, you have to use Cappy to get out of there. Um... Oh, 
Alright, let's have another look at this top part. I feel like there's a way to do it, I just don't know if there actually is. <laughs> um... Yeah, this this part is very tight, which makes it difficult to do what I want to do with it. Because Cappy always throws quite far. Uh, I think I might be able to pull something off. Let's just... Yeah, and there's not really a lot of room to work with is the problem. Uh... I think it's probably easier on this side because those little red things aren't there. Uh, still not easy though. Hmm. So I can get to here without any trouble, but then what? <laughs> um... Because the poles just the poles just above the gold thing in front of me are climbable, but I don't know how to get onto them from where I am. <laughs> uh, hmm. I need, to, I need to gain like more height than I normally can from a cap bounce, I think. I don't know if that counted as a jump or not. I pressed B, but I think it might have not been a jump. I'm not sure. I think that was okay. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. I think I, I think. Hang on, let me just have a quick look. I think if you grab a pole like, or you're standing right next to it by pressing B, that isn't a jump. But I'm not sure. I'll have to check on my other file to see if that was valid. I might grab an extra moon just in case. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'll write this area. Yeah, I'll do this. Do, 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 do. So yeah, there's two moons to get here. Um, it's just a little bit of an obstacle course thing. That's the first power, power Moon piece we've seen on this file, so that's why Cappy's telling us about it right now. Moon Shard, I believe they're called. Keep going that way. There we go. You don't really need to jump here, so the fact that we can't jump isn't really affecting it that much. It's just like a top-down maze sort of thing. There we go, easy peasy. Uh, that gets us two more moons. I think I'll do another sub area that has two moons in it. Uh, because that works out to us getting 11, like, sorry, 21 moons. Uh, and that's an extra in case the one on top of the building didn't work. Uh, I'll, I'll check after the video whether I actually am allowed to do that. I'll put it in the video description to see whether that counts as a jump or not. Because, yeah, you have to be on a completed file to see the counter. Yeah. And so, yeah, I can't see it right now because we're not on a completed file. Yeah. Uh, and using these things is fine. That's not jumping.
Okay, so yeah, we'll do one more sub area that has two moons in it. That'll get us to 21, which means even if that last one didn't count, we're still good. <laughs> uh, let's let's go here and try to do it without capturing. Hang on. Uh, um, might need to go a bit of distance and nope, a bit more distance. There we go. Let's go taxi! <laughs> okay, so yeah, you're supposed to capture one of these tanks and use that to smash everything. Uh, I'm gonna see how I can do without smash without uh, capturing a tank. I don't know if you can actually get anything without getting without um, breaking stuff with the tanks, but let's have a look around. Uh, there are some moon shards to collect in this area. Uh, there's one over here. There's another moon hidden as well, which you definitely need a tank for because of the way it's positioned. But we may be able to get some moon shards without one, so we'll see how we go. Oops. Well, I messed that up. Uh, it might be possible just to get the tanks to shoot the spots I want by standing in the right spot. That works in some other areas that have tanks, so we'll give it a try. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Also, by the way, the recording is still working perfectly, so I have no idea what was happening before. There we go, easy peasy. Ow. <laughs> yeah, that was gonna happen because I said that. <laughs> oh dear. I'm taking a lot of hits here. Uh... Just gonna drop that down there, get out of my way. There's another moon shard. That's two? Yeah, I'm still missing a bunch. Uh, there's like a hidden bridge here you can activate with Cappy. Most of the places that have these hidden bridges, you don't need them. You can just do a good jump and make your way across without them, but they're kind of cool to have sometimes. Ah! <laughs> he nearly crushed me! <laughs> I don't know if you can get crushed by that or not. Um, let me think, where are the other moon shards? I think they're inside stuff that needs to be broken open. So we might need to actually capture one of the tanks to do it. I'm not sure. I'm trying to avoid using the tanks because I know you can do it with the tanks without jumping. Um, so, no tanks, no jumping. That's where the that's where the moon shard is. It's on the other end of that pole, I think. If I'm recalling correctly, which is possible or not. Uh, I guess you have to capture one of them. All right, just for a little bit. Then you can have little attempt. Yeah, see. I don't know why it only shows up on the on that side when you flopped it down, but there you go. So that's three. Uh, where are the other two? I think maybe there's some, like, below... Is that gonna come low enough? No. Hmm... Hey, you shoot at me. Break these things. I'm looking for star bits. No, I'm not. I'm looking for moonshot star bits are from a different game. <laughs> oh, hard. That's cool. Thanks. Um, now break this. That makes that easier to access, but it doesn't really help me very much. I might need to actually capture a tank. Hmm. 
I know you definitely need to capture one to get the last moon. The, the second moon. It's up there. Because otherwise they will never shoot up there as far as I can tell. There you go. Um, but the, the first moon, I think I can probably get it without capturing a tank. Maybe. I can get across there without using the bridge, without jumping. Let's have a look. Oops, that was a jump. Let's pretend I didn't do that. <laughs> uh, muscle memory. There we go. Yeah, you can easily get over there without doing a jump. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, so yeah, there's one more which you get for getting the moon shards. Uh, I think some of them are inside the cars down there. And I think to get those car those cars, you have to just take a tank and blow them up yourself. Because the tanks are positioned such that they don't hit the cars normally. Yeah, there's one. And the last one is, uh, there. So... I don't think you can shoot it down. Maybe you can just shoot it to get it? Yeah, you can. I think you can also get it from above by dropping down as regular Mario, but... I didn't do that. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, so that's 21 moons. Even if uh, I wasn't allowed to get them on top of the tower, I have now gotten enough moons. So I'm gonna call that a video. Um, if I can get back in this taxi, that'd be great. Um, make some distance between us and the taxi. And just get above it. There we go. Um, but that's it for this video, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time we're back in, um, Shiveria, I think the main thing to do there is probably the skip the secret path thing, which I tried to do the last time I was in Shiveria, so I haven't pulled it off. So I'm probably going to practice some more and hopefully be able to do it this time. Uh, we'll see how we go. Fingers crossed. Uh, but that's it for this video, so thanks for watching. Bye!